All right, Shalom. One. Shout by Hashem Rakakodash, double arms unto our apostles and elders, GMS, who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers, and peace and blessings, salutations to the hopeful they got the pushing the word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, by Shem Al Shai, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom one to the hopeful they the believers and listeners whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh, by Shem Al Shai. And I just want to go to a quick lesson, you know, dealing with this article, you know, I was reading this morning. And pretty much what we're seeing happening in the earth, you know, is like I always say, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is despising the image of this place. All right, we're witnessing the death of a culture. All right, the death of nigger culture, the death of thought culture, the death of women worship, the death of feminism. All right, the death of Edomite supremacy in the earth. See, all these things are finna pass away. And Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is showing. Is moved towards these things by what he's allowing to happen. You know, all these people love clout and to be famous. Well, the Most High is embarrassing these people, you know, <laughs> openly. You see? It's the same way people are proud and boastful against Yahweh Bashim al Shai. He's judging them, all right, in a very open manner. And that's just, and what we're seeing is symbolic of a shadow of things to come. You know, it's an inkling. Of, of, of things to come all right now this is dealing with a uh, uh, instagram model all right um who was killed recently now uh, it's the article from uh meow.com and it says how was mercedes moore killed only fans star dead and suspected murder suicide it says fashion nova and only fan star mercedes moore was allegedly killed in houston texas on august 29th the cause of death was initially speculated to be a robbery going wrong with several alleged more were shot to death. Police also reported that the body of another man was found inside the home, but he was not immediately identified. There were no there was no known relationship between him and Moore, according to the Richmond Police Department. But Richmond police have since claimed it was an apartment murder suicide reports local outlet um, KHOU adding that the Fort Bend County Medical Examinator said that the influencer whose real name was Janae uh, Gan uh, uh, Gagnier was allegedly strangled. Rapper Tory Lanez was the first to confirm the news of Moore's death on Instagram sharing the story with the text rest in peace queen along with a photo of her so you know yeah celebrities respond um i know bow wow and uh tory lanes you know probably the two most vocal that i was seeing but see the most high he's hitting people where it hurt man you know a lot of a lot of these um personalities and you know these people with these platforms that pretty much influence the madness you know in a very vain way all right the most high is removing them man you know, there's a lot of people that's losing <laughs> people that are dear to them, man. But this whole celebrity, you know, stratosphere, you know, is being hit up. And it's going to get worse and worse, man. It said news of more, Moore's death come after it was reported that the 31-year-old influencer, uh, Marina Ladiba, because this is going to go into more people, died from a 5,500 nose job going wrong. So it's another... All right, Instagram model died from a nose job going wrong. It said YouTube influencer Albert um, Durlin also died at a young age of 22 while filming. The Doctor Zi Queemy had also had also met with a tragic death around the same time after she fell 160 feet to death while live screaming in the cabin of a crane you see so the most side is 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 killing the culture man you know this vain ass culture of instagram you know social media uh stardom you know and celebrities is being wiped out man you know because here it is at the end of the day the purpose of a woman is not to be worshipped all right because of how her body looks all right, most I didn't create women to be on earth just to be worshipped and taken care of 
based on how their body look. No, a woman has a, a beautiful role within the nation. And see, it, this is a part, all right, what we see in here, this is a part of what the serpent came to Eve with, you know? Because you got to think, Eve was fully covered, she was in order, and she had a role within, you know, the, uh, the, uh, <laughs> the household of Adam. She had a role, but the serpent said, nah, you ain't got to do that. Look, you can dress like this. You can get flu here, flu there. You can, uh, uh, you know, you don't have to take care of children. You don't have to tend to no kids. You can just, you know, let the world take care of you. Let the world worship you. You know, you are much more than that. And see, this is the outcome of it, man. This is part of that package uh, that the serpent came to Eve with, man. But we seeing it's being confounded. Now, when you go to Psalm 73 and 20, I say, which I always uh, bring out, this Psalm 73 and 20, it says that a dream when one awaketh, so, O Lord, when thou awakest, thou shalt despise their image. And see, the Lord is becoming very active, you know, and showing his disdain for this society and the people in it, you know, because this this one woman, all right, because it ain't about her, it's about what she represents. She represents, all right, the, the vanity, all right, of, of, of being a woman, you know. She represents a, a degenerate culture where women put emphasis on looks and status and clout and views and likes, you know, but have no wife skills, no, no, um, no mother skills, no parenting skills, you see? Which is off, man. You know, which completely defeats the purpose. All right? So when you go into this word, it's a lot. When you go into this word, image. Hold on, come on, man. Trip, hold on. All right? So when you go into this word, image. All right? In the Hebrew, is um, tazalom. All right, it says images. It says images, likeness. All right, it says mere empty. All right, um, it says heathen gods. Because, see, what people don't understand is the type of idolatry, you know, that they're involved in. You know, this whole woman worship, which we're going to get into that as well. But um, one of the words I want to get into is semblance. You know, because social media, you know, is pretty much a big semblance. Now, when you go into the word semblance, it says the outward appearance or apparent form of something, especially when the reality is different. And we know with a lot of these um, uh, 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 social media stars, they have, you know, had the, um, you know, fake ass and fake tits. And, you know, like you say, one woman died trying to get, a, you know, a nose is you know so you read semblance it says the outward appearance or apparent form of something especially when reality is different so the lies that people portray on these social media platform their reality be different all right even these bodies that these women women be showing off that's not really that's not even really their body you know it's silicone plastic or whatever you know they shooting up in them man you know, then you have these young girls that are trying to achieve something that's not real. You know, lifestyle that are not real. All right, they try. You know, they the 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 standards they have for men is not real. You see, so uh, social media, you know, has been a hub to for a semblance. All right, just the appearance of something, but it's not reality, man. See, yeah, how about she outside doing away with that? Because when you go into it, because you had all these celebrities, you know, sending condolences and mourning and, you know, reacting to it. But pretty much, this ain't nothing but, you know, worship of Diana or Ephesus, man. That woman worship, man. You know, you worship a woman for her figure. You see? Now, this is Acts um, 19 and 28. And I'm getting to the point. Now, we all familiar with the story dealing with Apostle Paul. When um, he had to run in with Demetrius, you know, which was a maker of idols. And one of the main idol worshiping um, Ephesus 
was um Di Diana of Ephesus, man. You know, which was a goddess. You see? And it says, Acts 19 and 28, it says, And when they had heard these sayings, they were full of wrath and cried out, saying, Great is Diana of Ephesus. And see, that's the sentiment that's in this society today. When you see these men, you know, even other women worshiping these other women for how they look and, you know, these lifestyles that they live, you know, they're saying great is, is you know, such and such. Great is such and such. You know, all in the comment board and, you know, praising these women. Pretty much you're giving your energy and worship, all right, to a goddess, man, to a deity, man. You see? Social media has become a altar, you know, for 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 for, for um <laughs> women worship for the most part. All right. That's the main source of worship that you see on social media is women worship, man. And that's why the scriptures say this about women, you know. A woman that lives in pleasure. All right, let's get that. Um, I think it might be. Yep, this is on First Timothy five and six. It says, "But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth." You see, and that's the majority of the women. They're pushed to just live a life of pleasure, to heal with responsibility and duty, and you know, being a mother and a wife, and you know, um, um, nourishing, you know, family. No, they would rather live in pleasure. And, and, and scripture say she dead while she live it because the end result gonna be death, man. You know whether it's gonna be death, uh, 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 you know, within their day to day, or they're gonna get caught up in this big besom of destruction that's coming to the earth from on high, man. You see, so I end it here when you go to First Corinthians, all right, seven and thirty one, which reads, and that they use this world all right because we do use this world all right we in it you know it's a function of society so we make moves within this society to sustain our situation it's not abusing it but see these are examples of people that abuse this world you know they uh have no morals or integrity they show off you know their body all right the only fans you know you pretty much you know just a uh, internet <laughs> all right harlot all right but there's example of them what abusing the world all right it says for the fashion of this world passes away and see what's trending now won't be trending uh uh in the near future and especially in society to come you see the 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 the, the, the women that the, the the lord is going to put under all right on um, the men of of the lord all right it, it's not going to be those type of women all right they're going to be tried down in the streets it's going to be those that have conformed all right, back to being women, you know, and that can be useful for building a nation, man. All right, the modern woman has become useless when it comes to nation build. She has become completely useless, man. You know, that's why you know it, it, it will behoove you, sister, to keep conforming unto righteousness, man, making yourself an asset for the building of a nation. And we believe that what the nation of Israel is next to come, all right, under your house, shot. So, Lord will, you brothers and you fusils, edify to the next time I say, shall I want.